Hello, and welcome to today's very weird, strange, and a little over-the-top video. We are going to be testing out very weird products. Cheers. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Make sure your notifications are on, and we're just gonna get right down to business. Hello. Wow, this looks more terrible than I could have imagined. I wanted to show you all this therapy system that I have been doing every other day. I'm a big believer in red light therapy. You guys know that. This one is one of the best. I really like this for a variety of reasons. The number one reason is how flat it is and how you can like completely curve it to the face. I know I look so spectacular right now. Just maybe do this alone at home in the privacy of you and no one else. Otherwise, you might scare your children. Your animals, like your fur babies, will probably give you a weird look. I know Puka looks at me and kind of is like, does a little of that. Well, to be honest, I don't really care if James sees me in this. Like, I we're just, we've been together that long that it's just like, boo! Like, sheet mask, weird mask, this mask, all my weird beauty stuff. Like, he knows the drill, you know? It's like, when you first start dating someone, you fall in love, you are your best version, and you are cute, your hair is curled, and then you fall in love and shortly after that, like all of the real real comes out. And I actually think that is the depth, like that is the real, true, you, me, connective, love, love. When you can rock a red light mask with like no shame, you found the real stuff in my opinion. Okay, so I wanted to show this first before I put on any makeup, just so I could actually put it on and show you guys. This is a red light mask from Current Body Skin. Now this device comes with a strap on the back that I happen to break, but I am smart enough to realize there are two little gaps here. This is actually one of um, a hoodie that I ended up getting rid of. So you could use any kind of a ribbon, a string, whatever you like or don't break the one that it comes with would probably be the best bet. Now, what I do is I will keep this in my bathroom. I will go, I will do a little micellar water just because I want my face to be completely clean in the morning before using this. And then I will pop it on and just go in bed and kind of do my morning check-in with social, whatever, email. You only leave this on for 10 minutes. You can charge it up to where it's not plugged into the wall so you can very comfortably just lay in bed, sit in a chair, do whatever you're doing with it on, which makes it feel just easier to be consistent with an item like this versus being totally immobile and having to be plugged in a wall and doing something that requires manual effort. You know what I'm saying? So this is the first weird product I wanted to share with you guys. I've been a fan of light therapy for the longest time. It can help you internally, externally. It helps your skin overall. The elasticity collagen can help fade hyperpigmentation. Uh, inflammation reduction. It just does a number of healing things on the surface and internally. And I always like saying it's NASA approved technology. Like it's a very healing thing to use light as therapy. Look into it if you want to. You can kind of geek out on Google, just research light therapy and all the good things that it will do for you. And this is just a really great mask that is weird. Looks a little scary that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, moving right along. Dun, da, da, da. We're gonna do another wonder product. A wonderful wonder product. If you guys saw, I tried the peel off lip mask stain. I will link that video below. But today we have something, I think it's kind of similar, but for the brows. The wonder lip I thought would not work. I actually ended up liking it. At first I hated it and then I loved it. It was like one of those. And I'm really kind of fascinated by their products and I'm curious what this one will be all about. So like, why not try it together? I have the shade Brunette. Okay, don't know why I always have to smell everything. Apply two to three thick coats onto clean, dry brows in the direction of hair growth. Ensure brows are completely covered and no skin is visible. Leave on for 10 to 45 seconds. The longer you leave on, the more saturated your brow color will be. Activator mist two, one to two times over brow mask. You know, here's the thing though. I don't understand how the mist is gonna make it dry faster because this stuff does not dry in 45 seconds or 10 seconds. But man, if this could like stain your brows and your brows would be like so cute without having to do the painstaking task of filling and all of that, then I would really be into this, you know? Brow pomade in a pencil. Okay, so you get 
You get a brow pencil in here too. All right, you guys, we're going in. My face is clean and bare, brows are clean. We're gonna swipe on in and we're just gonna see, wow, okay. We're gonna see what happens. We're just gonna, we are gonna go there. Oh, it says two to three coats. thought that just came into my head was like when you're a kid in elementary school and you're like if I wore my brows like this would you still be my friend did you guys do that as a kid um if I wore if I never wore matching shoes would you still be my friend yes I would oh my gosh okay so this brush is a little thick for my no brow brow situation This is my job. I'm a full grown adult playing with weird products on the internet. Amazing. Okay, um, I have an instinct to kind of edge off some of this before it really radically stains. I'm a little nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. No, this is gonna be great. I'm, I'm gonna be, whoop, or not. Okay, this could be amazing. It could be amazing, amazing, great. Let's have a good attitude. Oh my gosh, can you imagine my brows actually were like this intense? I'd be a better storyteller. Now, we will use the magic activator. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's in my eye. That is not delightful. <sighs> Oh, what the F? What is, what is happening? I read the instructions. Ow, it's burning my eyes. It's a wonder power activator. It's not supposed to do this. Oh my gosh. That was really not even like, oh, I'm trying to be so funny. This is like actually burning my eyeballs. Wait a second. It says mist. I mean, I guess I got a little, I should have been a little more like, this far away. That still is a little bit danger, danger. Just gonna let y'all know. It is smearing everywhere. Okay, am I supposed to peel this off? Do I wipe it off? What do I do? Swipe. Oh, okay, so we, we wet it and we forget it. I thought it was maybe like you peeled it off. We're gonna wipe it off now after the activator. Ooh. Oh. Um, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad. I am not, I am, okay, I'm a little mad. Overall, not mad, I'm not mad. I'm gonna let my eyes kind of calm down. I'm going to do the rest of my face, my eyes, and then I will finish off the brows with the brow pencil on camera to complete the look, but I'm gonna kind of let it just uh, calm down for a moment but that did tint it quite nicely. What the heck? That's nice, right? Okay, I'll be right back. Wow, you don't say. Oh my gosh, I actually really like that. You guys, I cannot even believe that I don't have anything else on my brows except for that tint. Like it's almost enough to just do nothing, like to just leave it like this with the rest of my very, very glam makeup. But I wanted to test out the pencil that comes in here as well. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just gonna kind of fill in where there are a few gaps. But it's not bad. And by not bad, I mean, I am totally gonna use this again. I have an idea of applying it not with the brush, but taking a angled brush and being a little more precise with the application, leaving it on a little bit longer. And then I think this would be phenomenal.
Yeah, those brows are pretty good, right? Okay, I love it. I'm into it. Yay. What we're gonna do now is... Ooh. Oh, it is charged, yes. Do I really wanna do this? Mm, I'm kinda scared. Do we all remember I tried a rotating curling iron once before on my channel and I literally lost like a section of my hair. It actually got caught in the thing and got really tangled. So I have a little bit of trauma associated with products like this. However, this is a more sophisticated updated version of that and... I'm curious. I kept seeing this at Ulta and I'm like, you know what? I am really curious. Should I really be doing a piece in the front like after I just said that? I don't know, let's let's get wild. How do you... Okay, okay. All right, it's happening. We're beeping. Is it okay? Oh, what time out? Are you freaking kidding me right now? What the heck was that? I feel like I'm in a hospital though. I will go ahead and say it. It's a little triggering the noise. I can't even believe it. I mean, I kind of am like rocking, like if we did it all the way around and my layers were like this, uh, Shirley Temple vibes. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. What? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say if you have children, this would be such a good tool because you know, when you're doing kids hair, it's more that ringlet, then you brush it out a little bit. I'm not so sure you can get a big section in here, but those curls are actually like smoothed out from it rotating and not frizzy and super cute. So we go like this. Oh, okay, I was able to get it kind of close to the root there. Whoa, you guys, this is actually a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Hey, stop it right now. All right, I'm just gonna keep going and finish curling my hair. We'll fast forward and I'll be right back. Hello. Are you filming? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. It works. Oh my gosh. Look at me. Like, curly tops. Curly top. I'm like, oh my gosh, George Washington it. over here. So cool. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's something satisfying about watching you do that. Right? Yeah. Ah! All right, goodbye. I mean, whoa, 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 right? I definitely need to play around with this tool because it didn't quite get to my root maybe the way I would want it to. However, it worked. You know, it didn't tug at my hair, not even once. And I made sure my hair was a little bit frizzy and out of control. I just air dried it. I didn't even blow it out, nothing. Like my, my hair dries kind of funny right here. So if I had blown it out a little bit and curled the front a little different, maybe it would work. What do you guys think? I'm kind of intrigued. Try, let's try brushing the curls. See what happens. I am, need a pair of bell bottoms and I'm like right in the seventies. Um, this tool actually performs. It works. I don't know that I'm loving the way I did it today with my layers and everything, but I'm gonna play with it. I kind of was thinking it was gonna tug at the hair, that it wouldn't be so smooth, but I am impressed that it was able to rotate, smooth the hair out, 
get pretty close to the root and not tug me not even once. So that actually gets an immediate thumbs up from me. It's not bad. I'm not super loving it. I'm not super hating it. I just know that if I was in my bathroom and not sitting here on the camera, I'd probably be using a mirror for the back of my head and kind of moving my arms different and doing all that. I just wanted to see if it worked and it does. All right, moving right along, I wanna talk about this L'Oreal Elvive 8 Wonder Water Hair Transforming Micellar Lameller, what are you? Wonderful, silkier, shinier hair, no silicone, no way down, rinse out. It is like a jug of water, okay? It is too, unmanageable in the shower in my opinion. It's literally like dumping a bottle of water on your hair, but you don't want to like get it on your face and you, you know, run the risk of getting too much on the floor and then your shower gets really slippery. It's just like a whole thing. It's just, there's just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It sounded cool. It was intriguing. Like, ooh, this like water conditioner for your hair. It's going to be so hydrating, but just like bouncy and good. And the idea of it was like weird, fun, let's try it out. And it just did not work. So I wanted to throw that in the mix here. And then a new obsession of mine that is not the weirdest product ever, but I think it's really cool and it's different and it's kind of like a two in one. I've noticed an improvement in my skin. A lot of people with exfoliating, they're gonna be like, don't do that every day. And if you have sensitive skin, don't do it every day. But if you don't have super sensitive skin, the granulars in here are so soft. It's not intense at all like a full-fledged scrub that for me, I've been using this every day and I've noticed an improvement in my skin. It's not as dry. It's more exfoliated. The dead skin is gone. Closer shave. All of that. And that is this Pacha Soap Company Creamy Whipped Soap. Now this has little like micro exfoliants in here. And the best part is the scent. It smells so good. This is coconut papaya. I picked this up at the grocery store. I got this at Whole Foods. And I am so wowed. The ingredients are incredible. I love the pop top here. You don't have to screw anything off in the shower. It's just like, bam, there you go. You grab a little, it is soap, and it is an exfoliant all in one with great ingredients, a gorgeous scent, a perfect jar. It's not crazy expensive and I have been loving this. Loving, loving, loving. And you guys, now that I took forever and a day uh, just getting through the hair and the weird brow product, which by the way is also a smash hit, I keep kind of glancing in the mirror here and then in the monitor and I'm like, that was like the easiest brow day of my life. I painted it on, wiped it off build it in a tiny bit. It did not take me my normal stress of like, oh my gosh, like filling in and da, da, da. So I'm excited about it. I definitely will be using it again. I'm gonna keep playing around with this curling iron that honestly, I think once I figure it out a little bit better, it is gonna be like a favorite product. What do you guys think? This was a really successful video. Sorry if the light's a little all over the place. The sun's kind of getting clouded up. The weather is changing. It's not gonna be as hot here in Washington state, praise the Lord. Um, I hope you guys are having a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. Go and have a good one. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Subscribe and ring that bell, turn your notifications on, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.